International Museum Day is celebrated globally on the 18th of May or a day around the 18th of May. It started in 1977 and it's the 44th year that it's in an existence. It is to make awareness around our, for our public, to make them aware of museums and the importance of the museums in our country and worldwide. This year we're looking at the theme Recover and Reimagine of our future of our museums. The Rustem Freire Museum where we are currently at has been restored by the city of Cape Town to the value of 3 million rand. This shows the support from the city of Cape Town towards arts and culture in society. We would like to invite you to the Clay Museum at the Rustem Freire Museum building and thereafter the, there is regular exhibitions that is taking place to show the awareness of art in Cape Town. The Rustem Freire Art Gallery and Clay Museum Complex is in the heart of Durbanville set in a beautiful national monument. It is one of the most beautiful spaces in Durbanville and I think a hidden gem of Cape Town. Rustem Freire is really a community art centre. It's a place to meet, learn and be visually inspired. It focuses on established artists, but also on young, upcoming artists. Martin Zalberg was the founder of the Clay Museum, and the Clay Museum opened in 1986 and was opened by Isaias Bosch, a very well-known potter in South Africa. The collection housed in the Clay Museum is mainly a contemporary collection of studio pottery in South Africa, but there is also some historical works, and there are works from um, Linware, Rogue's Drift, Martin himself, and all the potters that were very much significant in the whole studio pottery movement in South Africa. The collection is mainly contemporary South African, but we also have some international works. And one of the pieces um, in the Clay Museum is by Bernard Leach, who is considered the father of British studio pottery. So it's a very important piece in the Clay Museum. At the moment in the Clay Museum, there is a collection of showing the works of potters that work in very specific methods, they are firing techniques, so it is a very interesting collection to come and look at. You'll see salt firing, you'll see smoke firing, you'll see reduction wear. Everything that is done in ceramics can be seen in this museum. There are many workshops presented at Rustem Frieda, also many artist studios in the space and a community garden, so it very much is geared towards the community and art. The Clay Museum is very much a living museum. It has what is called the Cube, also in the museum, and that is a collection of 90 little spaces that are filled by living potters. And it's a wonderful way through Ceramic Southern Africa to keep the museum going as a living entity. Um, join us on Museum Day at the Clay Museum for a free public demonstration by Rolf Johnson and myself of techniques we used in our, in our exhibition in the Cube.